सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन सो इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द सेकेंड मॉड्यूल दैट इज रिलेटेड टू ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स ओके सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द रूल्स ऑफ हाउ टू रेड्यूस द गिवन ब्लॉक डायग्राम आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑन इन डिटेल्स अबाउट देर आर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली देर आर एट रूल्स एंड टू क्रिटिकल रूल्स विच हैव यट टू डिस्कस दैट हैव टू डिस्कस इन द फ्यूचर so before that we have one simple block here that is block diagram we need to reduce this block diagram into the simple block in order to get the relation between the input and output that is the transfer function we know that transfer function is the relationship between the output by input that is c of s by r of s this is the output side this is the input side we need to reduce in block this block in such a way that we are left with only a single block and we are going to solve this okay so how these kind of problems are solved let us see okay by using the rules of uh, block block diagram reduction which we have discussed okay so here first uh, in this block first you need to see the simpler blocks that is these uh, feedback blocks so here we can see that g1 and g4 they are continuous in a straight path okay so if there are in straight path we have a rule that Uh, like this if we have we need to multiply these two things since these are in series okay so we need to multiply this and uh, uh, reduce it into a single block that is g1 g4 this would be a single block right now okay and after that again g1 g4 and along with that we have even h1 so we can say that g1 g4 and h1 is uh, attaching to a summing point this is a minor loop okay that minor loop we can reduce it again in this side we can see that g2 and g3 are to a common summing point okay so if these two are to a common summing point we can add these two up and write it is a single block as g2 plus g3 okay yeah if we write this g2 plus g3 together and if we take this minor loop outside we are going to be left with one single block here and also here if we add these two we are going to be left with a single block again those two blocks would be in series again we need to multiply them and after that again we would be having a a uh, minor loop again that we need to reduce okay so these are the steps here so now let's try to solve analyze the steps and solve this problem so first step what we need to do is we need to put this in series since these are in series we need to multiply this and these two we need to add this okay so this summing point remains as it is and uh, this last h2 block remains as it is okay so now this summing point also remain as it is h1 and this would be g1 g4 and this is h1 and these two are in parallel to a uh, single uh, one summing point so this would be these two would be getting added up g2 plus g3 c of s okay and this h2 is connected here okay so this is the first step here we have reduced these two blocks here these two so now again we are we are going we would be reducing here so here we can see a minor loop here right with a positive sign so if there is a positive sign what we are going to do if we take the minor loop we are going to uh, uh, write the expression for a minor loop equation that is uh, g of s divided by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s right so in place of g of s we have g1 g4 and in place of h of s we have h1 yeah so now let's try to write that that is step 2 you can write it uh, step 2 if you want or you can simply skip it that is we will be having a summing point and this summing point would go because uh, we are uh, reducing it to a minor loop right So that would be g1 g4 divided by 1 minus. If we have plus sign here, we need to write here minus, and if we have minus sign here, we need to write here plus. Okay. Or plus or minus, you can write even both. Plus also minus also it's one and the same. And one plus or minus g of s that is g1 g4 into h of s that is h1. So yeah, we have replaced this block as well. and write this uh, g2 plus g3 as it is c 
of s and we have one more block right h2 so now step 3 would be so these two are in series again right so these two are in series so we need to multiply them first multiply them keep this summing point as it is and uh, reduce it to a single block that is g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 okay and for that we have a feedback path h2 again this is a minor loop here right so this is our final minor loop if we solve this we would be left with a single block which would be having one input r of s and output c of s okay that is the summing point goes and we would be left with one single block that is again this is this complete term is now corresponding to g of s that is g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 whole divided by 1 minus so here we have minus so this will be plus okay g1 g4 g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 into uh, h of s is h2 okay yeah so this is the single block the relationship between input by output so here uh, this is not done yet. we should not keep this term as it is we need to further simplify this so now let's further simplify this and uh, try it uh, try to write it in a simplified manner okay so what is our c of s by r of s which we have got g1 g4 g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 whole divided by 1 minus g1 g4 g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 into h2 right so here we need in order to simplify this we have the uh, denominators we can take common for both these fractions and we can cancel it out before that we need to take the lcm right so in order to cancel this 1 minus g1 g4 h1 in both the in numerator as well as denominator the first thing that is we need to write the lcm we need to take the lcm on this side right yeah first take the lcm uh, of that side and write the term that is g1 g4 g2 plus g3 after uh, if we take the lcm we can cancel 1 minus g1 g4 h1 into uh, in both the numerators as well as denominators so after cancelling what we would be getting first uh, take the lcm that is we need to multiply 1 into 1 minus g1 g4 h1 that is the same thing 1 minus g1 g4 h1 minus g1 g4 g2 plus g3 into h2 after the cancellation so this is your required transfer function that is relationship between input and output so this is the expression required okay so finally how we need to write it so i have written here it has c of s by r of s but when you write during the exam you need to represent this whole term in one block and you need to you need to be having the input path as well as output path okay like this you need to be writing in the exam okay so this i have just shown you this was since this was the first problem i have just shown you okay but during the exam uh, when you write when you conclude the answer it should be in this way okay and you should not write c of s by r of s is equal to whatever answer you got okay finally if you want you can solve this separately and at finally what we need to write is this whole uh, simplified term in one block along with the input and output path okay yeah so this was one simple problem so this was really simple so these simple problems would not be there 
okay so in the upcoming sessions we are going to solve many complicated problems and those are very interesting problems you getting you would be getting a hang of it as well if you go on solving so for this subject practice is required so please practice this uh, uh, these kind of problems very well otherwise you won't be getting a hang in this subject please go to the library uh, uh, refer the textbooks and uh, in the textbooks you would be having hundreds of problems so take those problems and try to solve it on your own so uh, refer these videos as well okay so yeah thank you like share subscribe we will be seeing you in the next session